What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com and in the last Dynasty video we finished off the regular season with a game against Wisconsin and we ended up winning 35 to 21. It was a close game throughout, a pretty wild game to say the least, but we was able to come out on top and we're still undefeated. We're number one of the country and today we're going to take on number eight Florida State and this is the ACC championship game we finally made it it took me four seasons to get there but we finally won our division to earn the right to play for that conference crown now you look at Florida State they got a little, little bit more talent than we do you look at their stat line which is absolutely incredible like their worst stat is turnover differential at 48th in the country but they seem to be great at everything, kind of like us in a sense. So something's got to give. Now, they run a pro-style offense, a 4-3 defense. But as usual, we'll always look at their impact players on offense, and we'll work off of that. We can check out the team info screen. Here is ours. Gates, Horton, and Peterson have been doing their thing all season. And it's been pretty consistent on offense. Now, on the defensive side, Walkers, Nichols, and Gunn has supplanted himself as the top interception guy on the team, especially after that really nice interception he had in the last game and of course we beat wisconsin in the last game now let's check out florida state they have an outside linebacker out today looks like he's out for the rest of the season you look at their offensive leaders xavier lee he's still at florida state somehow some way he's still there he is a dual threat guy he's going to be a nightmare for us and i'm pretty sure that runner is anton smith Really good running back from when I remember back in the day. I'm assuming he is an impact player. And look at their top receiver, Fred Rouse. He was like the top wide receiver coming out of high school at the time, but he didn't make it past barely a year there. I think he had some uh, off the field issues. But you look on the defensive side, they got one guy leading both the tackles and the interceptions, which is an interesting combination. And their last game, they barely, oh, they did get beat by Florida, but that wasn't a conference game for them, so that's not a big deal. Now, if they beat us today, can they sneak into the national championship game? I don't know. Hopefully, we can avoid that and just beat them, and we won't have to worry about that. But as you can tell, they're having an amazing season. Before we head back into the video, I just wanted to point out a few things from my store. First off, Everything in the store is 20% off if you buy four or more items. That's an incredible deal that several people have already taken advantage of. Now, my latest book is out, the Flexible Shoot Playbook for NCAA Football 06. It's essentially the offense I ran in my Hawaii Dynasty the last few seasons of it where I broke just a ton of records and I had a whole lot of fun doing it. I also have my memory cards where I have over 20 named roster files for every single NCAA football game for the PlayStation 2. And last but not least, I have all of my books. West Coast Offense, The Power Shoot, The Owl Raid Offense, The Big Book of Tight End Plays, You Got the Eye Option Offense, and so on and so forth. So make sure you check that out. I will have a link in the top right and in the description below. Here we are and I believe this is Jacksonville, Florida. If I'm not mistaken, we'll check that out here in a bit. It's been so long since I've played in this game. Yes, I think this is Jacksonville. Yes, Alltel Stadium or whatever it is now. Top 10 matchup, biggest game of the week in the conference schedule, which we'll check out at the end of the video. And here come the Duke Blue Devils, number one team in the country. In my favorite uniform setup, the all blue. I just love that look. And here come the Florida State Seminoles. Big Joe Horton, best running back in the country, leading in yards and in touchdowns. You better believe it, we will go through him again today as best we can. Who are they going to pick? Looks like they're picking us. All right, let's go to the coin toss. They have won it, and they will receive. There's hardly any win, so the weather is just spot on today, which is good. Let's go and check out their roster. See what we're dealing with. Okay, impact quarterback. He's finally a senior, uh, but he's got 84 speed, so we're not going to do any blitz in the day. We're going to have to do a lot of spy type stuff. Now, he's a righty quarterback, so we're going to spy our left defensive end for that reason. But you look behind him, 88 overall, a redshirt sophomore, 88 speed. That's a good pickup for them from a couple of seasons ago. Halfback, impact player. So this is, again, the nightmare scenario going up against arguably the best backfield in the country. 
96 overall. Anton Smith, 96 speed. And look at his backup. It's pretty good as well. So that is just as good as a backfield as I will ever see or go up against for the foreseeable future. And uh, we'll try our best to uh, combat that. Fullback, 86 overall, 78 speed. Not bad. Wide receivers, look at this, 96. Kenny O'Neill, I remember him. I'm sure I've talked about him in the past. Uh, 96 overall with Fred Rouse and uh, 88. Just incredible skill players across the board. Tight end, 82 and 78. Looks like both these guys can catch a little bit. We may see one of them uh, do something today. Let's look at their offensive line. 80 overall, true freshman. That's a good pickup for them. Redshirt freshman at 80 at left guard. 96 overall at center. Maybe the best center in the country. 88 overall right guard, and he got 70 at right tackle, redshirt freshman. Okay, that's their, if they have a weakness on offense, I guess this is the offensive line. They're pretty weak on the outside at least. Let's look at the defense. Now, they run a 4-3. They're left in 92 overall. He is out for the first half. We got to take advantage of that because there's a big drop-off beyond that. Then he got right in at 88 overall. Defensive tackles, 96, maybe the best defensive tackle in the country. Maybe at least in terms of talent. You got 88 and 82. 86 overall, kid. Left outside linebacker, but he is out. That's the one we looked at earlier. 86. Uh, well, let me go back real quick. Uh, it's not going to be a drop-off for them unless these two guys are starters. I'm not really sure. But anyway, that's not going to be a big deal for them. They are middle linebacker, 86, 85, 82. Right outside linebacker. Look at this kid. 98 overall. That's impressive. Just a really talented ball player right there. Corners, 93, 86, 85. Now, I'm looking. This guy's really small. He's only 5'8", really fast. Then they got 6'1 and 6'5". Okay, 94 at free safety. Incredible. 94 at strong safety. So this is a loaded team as I've ever seen in quite a while. Uh, 68, true freshman kicker. Maybe that can help us down the line. And a punter that's a senior that's awful. Okay, cross your fingers. Hope for the best. This is going to be the toughest game I've faced or played since I have increased the sliders. And this is going to go out of bounds, I think. Yep, I hit that too early. So they're going to get good field position. I'm due for about one of those a game. They're going to get it on the 35. This is interesting. What do you call? You know, they got a great quarterback, a great running back. Well, let's just run our normal stuff for now. They're going pass. Interception! Huge! Huge play! First play out of the gate! Oh my gosh! What was he doing? I think he threw it off his back foot. Look at this right here. What's he doing? Was he feeling the heat? I don't know, but Walker got right in front of it. Oh my gosh. We got to take advantage of it. So let me fix a couple things. Let's go. Let's put our tight end in there, and we'll put our tight end here. I'm okay with that. Let's go. Slam with Horton. And they'll look to I, I, on the it's probably my best interest to run clock today, I would think. Uh, let's go to the right. Good defense. Not a whole lot there. Second and nine. I'm going to go back to Horton. We'll do a toss with him. Man 5-2. I think I'll just chew clock. I think it's a good idea to do so. Just keep it. I think their offense is going to just do numbers on us big time. Do some serious damage. Unless they keep throwing interceptions, which that would be nice. So it looks like we have a good situation here. On the left, if we can get decent blocking, that would be great. Good block right there. Get around, get around. Keep going, son. Good play by Horton. We are on the 12. What can I call from here? Without doing anything stupid. Let's go curls. Zone nickel. I'm going to go Parker with a slant. That way we'll, we'll go to either Parker or Peterson. And the clock is stopped, so we'll go ahead and snap it. Wow, terrible play. Not a good play at all. Just a bad throw by... He had to come back for it. Yeah, bad throw by Gates. We lost yards. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. I went no huddle. I'm an idiot. Let's see what they're calling. I didn't even... 
So they're going zone again. Uh, I actually don't want to call this. I think I may call a timeout. That's just my fault. I hit the wrong button. Now, I have an audible I could use. Let me do that. We'll do something like this. I got a direct I could use. Maybe we can get a touchdown here. Get a first down, Horton. Good play. Now we're on the two-yard line. Let's keep it simple. Don't do anything stupid. Let's just go in with a simple run and end it with a six points. Zone 4-3. Not a big fan of that shading. Hang on. Let's, uh, let's do something like this. I wonder if a linebacker will move over as well. We'll just go to the left. We're going to let that clock roll. Get it down to a couple of seconds. And we're going to get six points. All right. Really good start. We was able to get a turnover and capitalize on it with a touchdown. And that was the, that entire drive was the Horton show. Now, I'm not trying to pat his stance or anything. I think it's just in our best interest to give the, the ball to our best player quite a bit. Now, he's, I didn't see, uh, I didn't show you earlier, but in terms of the Heisman watch, he's still in second place. So, it, you know, if he would have got up in front of Graham Harrell, I would have showed you. But maybe he can just have an an amazing game today and get her up above him. I'm assuming Texas Tech is playing in the Big 12 championship game today. He kicks it. This is a much better kick. Now he's going to return it. Fields at the goal line. Somebody get a stop. That's their number one wide receiver or their X. We'll go back to quarters out of nickel. Get the ball here at the 21. The and we'll do something like this maybe. Going to pass it again. Good catch. Going to get a first down. Almost staying quarters. I, it actually wouldn't hurt my feelings if they threw the ball all day. Eventually, they got to go to their halfback. Intercept that. Nope. Good throw. Couldn't get there in time, so that's what, second and two. Let's go nickel man. I can see him running it here. Uh, we'll do something like this. Toss. Big play. Good stop by Nichols. So now it's third and what, eight? Third and seven. I'm going to go cloud. We're going to spy with our left end. We're going to do something like this. Ooh, they're going option. No, they're not. Oh, he, oh, man, I, so, well, I technically messed it up. Oh, it says I hit it. No, that wasn't me. <laughs> I completely butchered it. We're very fortunate that this was an incompletion. Now, this was a good play by our strong safety, but look what I'm doing. I'm just waiting. I'm going to just jump up and try to get it. Of course, I failed miserably. <laughs> I'm so terrible at free safety at times. Halfway, at, half the time I'm decent, half the time I'm not. But just a big play by Gallagher. Boom with a hit. Just a huge play. Boom. I'm going to see if I can get a better thumbnail. Something like this. Oh, just a big play. All right. Fourth and seven. Guess what? We're going to force the punt. We're going to get the ball back and see if we can score again. Ooh, that's a good kick, but no, we're going to have to fair catch it. Couldn't block that guy. We are on the right hash. Let's go. RB deep. They're going zone. We'll go to Peterson. Let's see if we can get a better throw this time. A little bit better. Going to pick up six or so. Let's go to a home run threat. Impero. Let's do a toss with him. Man, 5-2. Keep running that 5-2. Fine by me. As long as the blocking's halfway decent. And that's a good shift on their part. This may not work at all. Hmm. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Let's... Uh, I am going to go to the right. That was a good call. Get the first down. I didn't know what was going to happen on the left side. So I stayed away from it. Let's run slam with Horton. 
Zone 4-3. The clock has stopped, so we can go ahead and snap it. I'm going to run to the right. I'm going to stay away from that impact guy. Ooh, he just looked like he got shot. Second and five. We're on the right hash. What can we call from here? Let's go. Halfback out. They're going zone nickel. We're going to let that clock roll. I'll keep it simple. I'll probably just go to Horton. I could probably go to Parker, but I don't know if he's fast enough to get open on that post. And I just kind of want to get the ball out. And keep it safe. Just so maybe we can get the first down. Go ahead and snap it. Good throw. Just get the first down. Just enough. Good play to Horton. We can try. QB choice. I'm going to do an off-tackle run with him. I like the look. Zone nickel, just don't shift too. Yes, even better. That is good right there. What we're going to do, we're going to bring Parker over with a few seconds to go, and then we can get an extra blocker. So we lucked out here on the shift. Get it down to a few seconds, do something like this. Get a block or two. Face mask. Oh, they didn't call it. So he broke something. Oh, he broke his own record. <laughs> okay. Did we get the first? Yes, we did. First and ten. Are we on the left hash? Yes, we are. Kind of, sort of. Uh, let me... Uh, he's feeling it. Let's just go run slam again with Horton. Man 4-3. I think I may leave it as is. We're going to go to the right. Let's see if they put the ball in his hands. Clock is running. Get it down to a couple seconds. We'll snap it. Just stud. Absolute beast. Another nine yards or so. Eight yards. Second and two. I'm trying to think. What can we call? Ah, let's go back to RBD. But I want to see if they'll go man. They're going man. This is what I wanted to see. They're going to bring him down. Cover one at least. The clock... The yeah, the quarter's about the end, so we'll go ahead and do something like this. Cover zero. Get it, ball. Get it. Ah, six points to the senior. Ah, excellent. What a great way to end the quarter. Up two scores. We're playing amazing football at the moment. Wow, great play. The ball over the top. They went cover zero. You got to go after that. Oh, my gosh. Great play. I wonder, I could probably get a decent thumbnail too. We can check that here. Something. I wonder if I could put a cursor on him if I can. This cursor thing's always been a struggle for me. That's a good look right there. Oh my gosh. All right. Great start. The perfect quarter. Let's keep it up. We'll kick an extra point. If you think about it, this is by far the best first quarter we've had in quite a while. Usually the other team has gotten ahead of us the last several games. So it's really refreshing to see us have a good first quarter. Not feel like we got to come back. Let's kick it back off. Another decent kick. and It's not going out of bounds. and It's not going to the impact guy. Let's see. Somebody get a stop. Get a stop, somebody. There you go. They have done nothing but pass all day so far. Except they had that one toss play that didn't work. So let's do something like this. Pass again. Oh, good play. Gonna pick up a first down. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the They're going with the big set. Bigger, I should say. We'll go man. They are going strong twins. We'll do cover two. Play action. Intercept that. Ah, I think that's out of bounds. Ooh, he caught it, apparently. No, he didn't. Second and ten. I'm going to go back to quarters. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 36. Looks like they're going four wide again. I think I'm gonna leave it as he is. QB draw. Somebody get him. Good job, Bal. Good tackle. Prevented the first down. I think he was guaranteed one if he was broke that tackle. 
Third and six. Can we get another stop? We'll go back to Cloud. I'm going to do a spy. We're going to do something like this. Please don't run to the left. We'll get torched. Ooh, they're going that way. Wasn't expecting that call. Ooh, he didn't get it. Big play. Look who made the tackle. Big Ogabasi. Our seniors are stepping up big time today. So look at this guy right here. Huge play. Going around. He was able to get the tackle. And guess what? Another forced punt. This time we're going to do an all-out block. Yeah, they shouldn't fake it. If they do, that's just kudos to them. This is a good chance for us to maybe block it. Somebody get it, get it, get it! Just don't hit the punter. We're going to fair catch that one. Wow, we are off to an amazing start. Let's keep it up. Let's go. It's called new play. Let's go halfback angle. We're going man. Now, our tight end is probably defended by the impact linebacker. We're going to do something like this and say it. Cover zero. Get it, Peterson. Get it. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, my gosh. That's not what we wanted. Let's go toss. Man 4-3. That could have been a huge play. They're shifting like that. Interesting. We're going to do something like this. Cover zero, apparently. Face mask. Thank you. Big play right there. Good call. Probably a five-yarder. And it is. So that's going to be second and four. Second and four. Let's do tight end delay. We're going man dime. And he's double teamed. Let's do something like this. And let's just go ahead. Go to Horton. Looks like the free safety was defending Horton, so we lucked out on that one. Good play there. Let's run slam with Pero. See how he handles it. We'll give Horton a, a break. Zone 4-3. I'm going to go to the left. The clock is stopped. Good defense. Second and eight, maybe. Second and eight. I'm actually, yes, let's go back to Pero. Let's do a toss with him. It's second down and eight to go. And then we'll definitely get Horton in on third down if needed. Ooh, I guess we got no choice but to go left. Let me go. The clock is running. We're going to let it do so. Do something like this. Yeah, great play. Good defense all around. Nothing we can do about that. So it is third and eight. What can we call? We can go tight end cross. We're going man. I have options. The clock is running. We're going to let it do so. Technically, all four of these routes are doable. Just depends on the coverage. I'm guessing that impact guy is on the tight end. Otherwise, if they go cover one or two, it may just go to the dig. Cover one. Intercept. Oh, man. Good defense. I saw him wide open. That's why I threw it so quickly. Look at him. He got open big time right there. But they ran spy with all the linebackers. Good play. So we're going to punt it. That's a good stop for them. I'm going to kick it like normal. Let's see if we can kick it as hard as we can. I'm going to stay back. Somebody can get a stop. Get him, Thornton. Get him, Parker. We flipped the field at least. Let's go man cover two. Two minutes and 17 seconds. I'd like to get one more stop. Get the ball back before half. Toss play. He's got some space here. I had no choice but to do something like that. If I would have went for him much earlier, he probably would have got a bunch more yards. That's a good play there. Uh, I'm going to go back to man cover two. I think they may run it again. They're going three wide. 
We're gonna do something like that. Oh, we're going past. Intercepted. Ah! Well, he dropped it at least. McCoy just whiffed it. Second and ten. Let's go quarters out of nickel. Since they're going four wide. We'll do something. Uh, yes, we'll just leave it like this. Just in case they run it. I'll leave the linebackers in. They're going to throw it. Ah, oh, good catch. I whiffed on it. I was no help. Let's go back to quarters. This is by far their dr best drive of the day. Good play to the halfback. First and ten. Let's go nickel man. I'm curious to see how much time they will chew up. I'm going to do something like this just in case they do that off tackle and they're not going to. Intercept that. Oh, good catch. Just like that, they're fixing the score. Uh, we'll just stay in nickel man. I can see him running it here. Do something like this. Counter. Good tackle. Good play. The problem is, well, they call the timeout at least. Ah, oh, this. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go back to man. A minute 22. I'm thinking about what we got to do once we get the ball back. Good play right there. Now, I'm going to call a timeout here. I don't need all the timeouts on the last drive. I don't want them to chew down that clock. So we're going to go cloud. We're going to do something like this. If we could just hold them to a field goal, that would be incredible. Oh, huge play by you know who, Walker. Go, side, go, 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 go. Oh, my gosh. The middle linebacker is having the game of his life. Huge play. That just, that really changed everything right there. He had all day to throw. Of course, I only, I mean, I only sent three. Look at that. He had all day. Oh, nowhere to go. But to 58. 58's got more catches or passes off of uh, Xavier Lee than anybody else has today. So we're on the left hash. Let's go deep outs. We need to get down the field a little bit. They're going zone. Oh, my gosh. We're playing so well. we got to take advantage of this. Terrible throw. Ooh, he, thank the Lord he didn't go for the interception. Man, that was a bad throw. Taking a 10. Uh, let's go. Let's go wide receiver curls. You just can't watch it. Zone dime. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. Gates. Do something like this. Wow. Defensive end came through pretty quickly. Second and ten again. I think I'm going to go back to ace. Slot deep bounce. Well, they may get the ball right back here. Ah, oh, man. Let's see if we can get a conversion. Cover two. Ah. Uh, Shoot, that could have been a disaster. Good defense. Somebody came through. Yeah, I can't back. That's my fault. I should have stopped right there. I probably could have converted this if I would have stopped right there, but I backed up too much. So I think that's my fault. And guess what? We got to punt it right back. Oh. Well, so much for that potential drive. Nothing went well there. Good defense by Florida State. I'm going to kick this hard. Just flip the field as best we can. That's going to be a touchback. Bounce back. No, not that way. 50 seconds. I assume they're going to try to go down the field and try to make something of this. We'll do an over front. Now, Lee hasn't scrambled much today. I'll get the throw. First down. Here they come. At least we're in a base play that we can work with. Now I'm curious to see what they're going to call here. Going play action. Good defense, Al. Good defense. Second and ten. Let's go quarters and a nickel. Uh, we'll do something like this, maybe. Lee set to go to the air. Looks. 
You don't see anybody open. Make a play, somebody. Intercept that. Oh, my gosh. How did he catch that? What in the world? Everybody just had a big cluster on the back end. That's just so bad. Wow, that's awful. And here they come. Oh, man. That was a huge play for them. Good stop. We may get lucky here and they'll goof up and keep calling the same play over and over again. They're going to, aren't they? <laughs> oh, wow. Great play by the halfback. 14. They got one more timeout, don't they? Comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. I think they do. Oh, they're going to goof up here, aren't they? <laughs> oh, they do got the one timeout. So we're going to force a field goal. That could have been a disaster. Thank the Lord they butchered that last few plays. That's something I hope the NCAA next guys can figure out, is how to make the... Uh, make the uh, two-minute drill a little bit better for the CPU. As you can tell, they didn't do a good job there. So they're going to kick their field goal, but we're still up 11. That's a good half. I'm more than pleased with it. So let's go and check out some stats. They had a little bit better for second quarter than we did. 152 yards to our 133. So offensively, they're playing a little bit better, but we're not turning the ball over as much. Uh, none of that else says a whole lot to me. Neither team is doing well on third down. This is a big defensive battle to say the least, but they have the two turnovers, which is the reason why we're up 11. Let's go to individual stats. Not a whole lot to see here. Now, Gates is not playing all that great. 5 of 10, one touchdown. Uh, running the ball. Horton and Perro. I probably need to get Miranda a touch, but we need to make sure Horton uh, takes care of the game the rest of the way. We're going to try to do that. Receiving, again, not a whole lot to see here. Uh, defensively, everybody and their brothers sharing the load on the tackle front. Tackles for loss. Poland. No sacks, but two interceptions by Joey Walker, who's having the best game I can remember him having. So we have Florida State. Got the ball back. Let's take this game over. It's time for 29 to become a high. Oh, face mask. Thank you. Good play. So the penalties are going our direction. On the 18, that's correct. We'll, we will accept it. Let's go to Horton. Man 4-3. Nobody's shifting or doing much, but I feel like we got no choice but to go right. Yep, we'll go over here. Had to bounce it to the outside. Going to pick up a good first down. Great play by Horton. Let's do a toss with Horton. Zone 4-3. The clock has stopped. They are going zone, aren't they? I think I called that. Yes, they are. The clock has stopped, so we can go ahead and snap this. And eh, good defense. We're very fortunate we got the yards we did. I'm going to continue to run the ball. Because our passing game isn't really jiving at the moment, let's just keep running it. Let's go toss with Pero. Let's try this one. Zone 4-3. Oh, uh, I may go to the right. The clock is running. Kudos to Florida State. Their defense is really picking things up the last quarter or so. Do something like this. Get a block right there. Oh, good play. Good first down. Good motion for the receiver to come over to get an extra block. We're going to go back to Horton, go slam. It's first and ten. Miranda may not get this touch the ball. I, I'd like to give him at least one carry. We'll figure that out later. But right now, we got to give the ball to our best player. Let's do something like this. Get it down to a few seconds since the clock is running. We'll definitely go to the right. You're nowhere to go. We're very, yeah, just a good defense. We got three yards out of it. Not terrible. Second and seven. Let's go with a pass play. They're going man dime. Look at that back, that defensive backfield. The secondary. Incredible. We're going to do something like this. I'm going to get this guy out of the way. I, we need to get Riley the ball eventually. 
So we're going to go to somebody on the left. L1 or R1. We'll go to Horton. Let's get a first down. Now I will go to Miranda. We give Horton a break. We'll run... Eh, let's go dive with Miranda. Man 4-3. Wow, yeah, they're incredible across the board on the front. I don't know. We'll go to the left. I don't know if that linebacker is on the slot or he's going to blitz. We're about to find out. He is on that guy. Oh, get a block out there. Six points to Miranda. Ah, great play. Huge play. Riley. That was all Riley right there. I mean, a couple other guys had some blocks as well. Good stiff arm by Miranda, but wow, he got in the way of both guys. Oh, incredible play. And just like that, we're up 17. One touchdown closer to a national title game. Hopefully against Tennessee. That's who I'm hoping we'll face. We got to win this one first. We'll get back on defense. Keep him out of the end zone. Our defense has been impeccable all season. They've played great so far today. We're going to kick it back over to the right side. Something like this. That's a really good kick. That's where I want it, but he will return it. Good stop. I'm going to go back to quarters out of nickel. What's helping us a lot is they're not running the ball much with their halfback. They should. But we're doing a good job when he does run it. Now, he had that one good toss play from earlier. Another toss. He has some room here. That's an easy first down. He had good blocking. Second and inches. Let's go nickel man. Eh, I'm going to leave it as is. Play action. He's looking. He zips it out. out of bounds, thankfully. That's what that's the chance you take when you got a go route or a wheel on the sideline. You just got to hope you your uh, your quarterback makes a really good throw. They're going they're going four wide and it's third and inches. It wouldn't shock me if they just ran the ball here. We'll do something like this. Ball stay in cover two just in case they pass it. Ooh, good play. Yeah, good play call. Here he comes. Somebody make a tackle. Good hit. Good hit by McCoy, but the dude got the first down. We'll go back to cores out of nickel. I think our defensive strategy is working at the moment. It's taking him forever to get down the field, and we're keeping him out of the end zone, of course. McCoy making plays out there. Second and ten. I'll stay in quarters. So it's second and ten. And this is the fifth play. Of the Quarters is a nice base defense for man or for passing. Get a stop. Oh, good hit by you know who by McCoy. So now it's what third and three. I'll go cloud. Please don't run it. We'll get torched. We'll do something like this. Don't run it. Yeah, good. Oh, they're going back to the toss again. I don't think he got it. First and ten, he got it. Barely. I'm going to stay in quarters again. I think they're going to continue to throw some. Otherwise, I'd go back to man more. But they they, they heard me. As soon as I said they need to run the ball more, they've started doing so. Now, Smith is out, or at least he's somewhere else. He's not in the backfield. Get a tackle there, somebody. Wow, well, good play by Lewis. About eight yards there. We're going to go 4-3 man here. I think they may run it. Second and two coming up here. This is Xavier Lee, thankfully, has had a bad game up to this point. Florida State comes out with three receivers bunch. Looking down the Good middle. catch. Good throw. Big play for them. They're on the move. That was a little drag round, I think. Yeah, he just got in front of it. Walker can't keep up with him. That's the chance you take when you go down a man. Uh, let's go, uh, let's go nickel man. So now they're mixing up their play calling a little bit better. Now they're going back to the pass. Let's see what they call here. 
Smith is back in the backfield. They're going to pass it. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, they're fixing the score. So what we can do is, let's do an all-out blitz. For him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. I'm going to control Gallagher. That way I control the fullback or defend him. That's He's the one who gets the ball, too. <laughs> That's hilarious. And, and just like that, they got their touchdown. The first one of the day. Well, thankfully, we ran a bunch of clock on that first drive this quarter. We're going to continue to do the same thing, keep it away from it. So as you can see, their offense is capable of going right down the field and putting up points. They had no issues on that drive. We didn't get any pressure up front. That's one thing with the sliders. The, I like the sliders. I'm really enjoying. I feel like I'm getting, you know, just uh, better results and just in terms of uh, good competition from the CPU. The one thing I'm not liking is none of my defensive linemen are getting sacks, like none whatsoever. Like... You go back and look at the last four or five games, they just don't get any sacks. And we're not going up against amazing offensive lines either, not every game. But I'm not overly worried about that. No big deal. All right, we're going to go to Horton. We're going to run a toss play. This may be the last play of the quarter. And he's going to get a good... Ooh, he broke the tackle. Good hit. Made something out of nothing. Five, four, and that is the end of the third quarter. We're up 11. Huge quarter right here. Biggest quarter of the season. Uh, let's go slam a horn. Going back to man. I'm noticing some stuttering in my emulator. I don't know what it is. I'm do something like this. Go to the outside. Good play to Horton. I, I'm going to give him a break. We'll go back to a toss with Pero. Then we'll go back to Horton. Zone 4 3. The clock is running. I will probably go to the right. Hopefully, we can get decent blocking. Hopefully, that linebacker on the right doesn't block or doesn't blitz. Otherwise, Ball will have to pick him up. Get it down to a couple of seconds. Option to the right. And now he pitches it. I had good defense. Nowhere to go there. The halfback picks up a yard. I may second and nine. <laughs> Let's go back to curls. Man dime. Do we got a matchup situation anywhere, like a good one? I don't really see it. The devil come out in a shotgun. We could do something like this. We can move some guys around. This is going to either Myrick or Horton. Myrick looks like the best matchup passing wise. They're going to cover one. We'll go to Horton. Go to the big guy. Get a first down. Just enough. Good play there. Uh, we will stay here. Let's do off tackle. Man nickel. I like what I'm seeing. Just depends on who is coming down for what. They're doing that. Uh, so I only have one audible gun spread or something close. We're going to do halfback direct. Now, we're going to go to the right. This will be interesting. Uh, I may have made the mistake there. Let's go ahead and snap it, though. It's a direct snap. Good hit. Yeah, just nowhere to go. Good play all around. By the defense. Second and ten. He's still feeling okay. Uh... I'm no. Let's. I'm gonna go back to Paro. We're gonna. We're, let's do Paro for now. This is the sixth play of this drive. Zone four three. Ooh, I may bring that other wide receiver over. We're up two scores. If we can just get another first down or two, chew up all the clock. Good play by Paro. Now we're gonna go back to Horton. Third and three. We're going to run basic slam. Man, 5 2. Ooh. Now, as I've told you a bunch in the past, and you've already seen me do this quite a bit, motion helps your run game out a little bit. Now, you still got to get good blocking and everything, but it does 
help in several ways. So I'm going to use it. Oh, good defense. Nowhere to go. So what do we call here? We need to fourth and two. Let's go half back out. We're going zone. Okay, well, at least Horton's going to get the ball. That's all I wanted to do here. Either he was going to get it or Riley. So this is the reason why I called it. We're going to let that clock roll. This is a big play right here. If we don't convert, they have a really good chance of coming back and doing something. But let's see if we can get the first down. First down. Just enough. <laughs> Minute 54, first of 10. He is feeling okay still. Let's go do another off-tackle play. Mm, they're doing every bit of that. I'm not a big fan of any of that. We're going to flip this. Don't know if that helped. The clock has stopped. Yeah, good defense all around. Back at a 10 now. They're really going to start calling timeouts. We're going to go offensive line. We're going to go to one guy, one guy only. Let's just go to Horton. Man nickel. We'll go back to slam. I'm going to go to the right. Single set back Good defense. So their, their defense is doing their part this last two or three quarters. Third and 12. Well, we got no choice but to pass it, I guess. We're going to go man. He covered one. I'm going to do something like this. We're going to go to Myrick or Riley. Clock is stopped. Good catch, but just didn't get the first. So what I'm going to do is fourth and two. I'm going to do something really quick. We're going to call direct, and let's see what they call. They're going man nickel. The clock is running. I can call a timeout if I don't like what I see. They're doing that. I'm going to take a chance with Horton here, or we're going to end this game. They're at a timeout, so we're going to go to the left. If they would have called something goofy or something that I'd probably feel like I couldn't get the first down, I would have called the timeout here in a couple seconds, and I probably would have kicked a field goal. But we're going to do something like this. It's a direct snap. And we're going to maybe get six points. Nope, maybe not. And that's the ball game right there. Game over! ACC champs, baby! One step closer to the big game. Oh, my gosh. And please let it be against Tennessee. And I'm going to run the ball some more. I can take a knee the rest of the way, but I don't want to. I want to get a touchdown with Horton. He's been a workhorse all season. And he deserves another touchdown. We're going to go right back to slam. We're going to go to the left. Six points. Will he win the Heisman? Probably not. I think Graham Harrell's got it locked up. But... Horton's had a really good career for us. I think this is his last season. He's a junior. Technically, he could come back. But if he wants to grow pro, I'm not going to uh, stop him from doing that. I, I'm not going to waste points on that. We got plenty of good talent behind him. We're going to be okay. But maybe he'll want to come back, and if he does, that's cool. So this game kind of got close in the third quarter, but we were just too much for them. They made way too many mistakes, and our defense is what stepped up more than anything else. Only giving up 10 points to that team, that's good. So we got a minute to go. Let's get through this, hopefully with no injuries. Come out of the field. I'm going to, I think this is a good idea. Let's go mass subs. We're going to bring everybody in. We're going to bring our second string in. Our first string does not need to be out there. The game is over with. So here are all the young pups. Oh, he finally decides to run the ball today. That's another thing that's helped us. Hasn't ran the ball much. And it's coming back. Probably going to be a clipping. And it is. Just a bad day for them. We've just played a whole lot better than they have. As you can tell, our depth looks really good. We've got a lot of young guns back there. 
Oh, bad throw. Yeah, he's just not had a really good game. 11 of 19, 182 yards, but two interceptions. That's pretty much done him in. We'll go back to quarters of nickel. So we got an issue over the right corner. There he goes. Somebody get him. Nope. Good tackle in the open field by Dizard. Third and four. Florida State. We'll just stick with the same play. They're going to call halfback read again. I'm going to come up. Nope, they're going option this time. Ah. Good play there. They're going to get the first. And they're going to go right back to that same goofy play. Hopefully everybody got past the line again, got back. Back to the same. Oh, Al completely whipped on it by Allen. That's my fault. And again, they don't know how to handle this. They need to get out of bounds, but like it matters, the game's over with. Good open field tackle. And that's it. 28 to 10. The Duke Blue Devils are your ACC champions. It feels good. It's been a long time since I've won this trophy. A long time. So it's good to see that. Really excited. So much fun. What an amazing season, and hopefully it's only going to get better because we got one humongous game left, and that's the national championship game. Again, hopefully against Tennessee. All right, let's check out some stats. 255 yards to our 295. Uh, we ran as much clock as we could. That's actually pretty good yardage for what little time they had to, uh, you know, actually move the ball. Uh, third down conversion. We were 0 for 4 today. That's terrible. They've done a whole lot better in the second half. But it was the turnovers that done them in. That's the key stat of the whole thing. The penalties didn't go their way either. Now, we ended up having more penalty yards, but that's because that one bad kick from the beginning of the game. Let's check out the individual stats. Gates, 9 of 14. The first quarter or so, it didn't go all that well for him in the passing game in general. Plus, it just seemed like it was our best interest to get the ball to our best player, run the ball, chew up clock, which is what we did. One thing I do want to see, I didn't look at it, uh, the time of possession, yeah. We had over five more minutes than they did. All right, let's check out the running. Horton, I think that's a good spread. He ended up with 19 attempts, 131 yards, two touchdowns. Worth every bit of it. But good for Miranda. He had the one carry, but he had a big gain, and he ended up being a touchdown. Receiving. Also, they've done a pretty good job of stopping Perro, I thought. Receiving, um, not a whole lot to see here. Horton, when it receives, he done everything for us. It just kind of worked out that way. But a lot of the pass plays that I did call, I wanted to make sure that he was going to be one of the main guys to catch it, and it worked out. He ended up getting five receptions. Defensively, McCoy led in tackles along with Butler. Then he got tackles for loss. Poland led in that. Again, sacks, just nada. Then he got interceptions. With two by Joey Walker, who is probably the MVP of the game, either him or Horton. All right, let's get out of here. Now, normally I would show you top 25 scores, but since this is championship week, there isn't anything to show. Now, yes, I could have simulated all these games, but if I would have done that, we would have automatically seen who was going to play in the national championship game. We was going to look at the Heisman Award, all that good stuff. And I want to do that at the beginning of the next video. So come on back. We will find out who we are going to play in the national title game. Hopefully it's Tennessee. I would love it if it's Texas Tech. But along with that, we're going to look at all the end of the season stuff, which is always fun. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.